Hello, friends, and I'd like to invite you to a new webinar with financial astrologer Grace Morris called Economic Cycles for 2023. And I have Grace Morris with us today to tell you a little bit about what she has planned for you. So welcome, Grace. And can you tell folks a little bit about what to expect in this webinar? Well, I like to get people who uh, listen to uh, web my webinars or any kind of financial lecture is hooked on financial astrology as I am. And uh, to also safely invest to be their own portfolio manager, if that's what they choose, certainly to keep control over it. The uh, last year's hedge fund managers have managed to lose billions of dollars for their clients and for uh, themselves. And in fact, I work with several. Uh, there's uh, some hedge fund managers who are restarting and the magic uh, dates, which are Sun, Jupiter, Pluto dates uh, on uh, January 17th and 18th. And I'll talk more about what that means. Um, um, issuance of IPOs or first trades. But I will keep it very basic because Astrologers need to appreciate what a gift we have by knowing cycles for real estate. And do they work? I've watched them for 30, 35 years. And the McWhorter cycles, which are the financial uh, economic cycles. They too have uh, proven to be so accurate. And uh, I will share those um, uh, some 100 year uh, cycles with uh, anybody who's listening, but also how to apply uh, these cycles. In other words, it's great, great to have um, the knowledge, but you want to make them work for you and uh, we'll look at how to do it. Also, if we're talking about the stock market, how to protect yourself to definitely put stops on any purchase you make so you never lose huge amounts. You may be um, stopped out at 5%, but considering what uh, some people uh, have lost in this last year, oh, I have to tell you about a subscriber, 25 years he's taken my stock market newsletter to his broker every month and he always thanks me. And uh, he said he had a friend visit him uh, this past holidays and complained how much money he lost last year. And uh, my subscriber said, I handed him my um, January newsletter and uh, explained how to uh, invest and uh, do it successfully and not losing, but getting definitely stopped out if, uh, if uh, the times change or the stock's uh, data, it's the fundamental analysis changes and you are protected so that you can uh, go back in while other people are uh, trying to figure out what they're going to do with the huge loss in their um, IRAs or their rough portfolios. So um, it is important to me to uh, help people successfully use these uh, financial trends. Let me give you an example uh, in terms of uh, one of the, the areas I really like to cover is sectors. And uh, it's related to the Jupiter placement. And Jupiter and Aries is uh, one of the things besides military uh, uh, companies and spending. It's heavy construction equipment companies, such as um, Caterpillar and United Rental. And what's happened in the US uh, legislature, huge infrastructure spending bills have been passed by the government. So this is a real strong fit for what we know is going to be a favored sector. And I hope you'll enjoy uh, as I show you how you can put together what is a favored sector. I don't favor um, ETFs because that people say, well, you if you know what the sector is, why not just buy an ETF? Well, you don't want to do that because you get both the good and the bad stocks 
in that particular ETF. It would be much better to uh, pick the top stock in, and uh, astrology can help you do that in each favored sector and um, definitely will come out a winner. As far as the economy, we're going to talk about um, so many things like the consumer price index, inflation, which is down now from, uh, at least in the U.S., from 9% to 6%. We're going to look at real estate cycles, when to buy and when not to buy. I also have a section called what's hot and what's not. Wages are holding and unemployment's the lowest in 50 years. So uh, we're in pretty good shape to do some great investing in 2023. Don't uh, pay attention to the doomsayers because if you know the astrological cycles and you apply, apply them to technical analysis, which is, I will explain too, you've got a winning combination. By the way, our GDP gross domestic product in 2023 will be at 1%. So much of the world is negative. And uh, also the deficit has fallen uh, to uh, 1.4 trillion in 2022 from a year earlier when it was at um, 2 trillion point six. To me, this I'm uh, an optimist, and I know when to look at the uh, down periods uh, and uh, when to take advantage of the uh, up periods. So I hope you will get as excited as I am about financial astrology. We can also, if you ask questions, answer those about the businesses I've worked with, what a year 2020 was in the business world and how to continue to be successful. What made the difference between those who succeeded and those businesses that did not? Beautiful, well, thanks so much for that, Grace. I look forward to it. You've been doing these for us for a couple of years now and they're always a big hit. So uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll have uh, lots of repeat um, viewers from, from the previous years. I've noticed with your Financial Outlook webinar, this is one that people refer back to all year long. So Grace provides so much information in this in this webinar that it's a resource you'll be able to use um, all throughout the year. And, and of course, Grace has some wonderful uh, newsletters that she offers through her website. So check that out as well. We'll include the links here. Um, but thanks so much, Grace, for, for joining me today. If you'd like to sign up for this webinar, head over to astrologyuniversity.com forward slash events, and you'll find this webinar listed there. If if you're tuning in after the webinar has already been presented in January, you can just type in economic cycles into the search bar and you'll find it that way. Or you can type in Grace's name, Grace Morris, and you'll find it that way. And if you have any trouble, as always, email us at help at astrologyuniversity.com and we'd be happy to help you locate this webinar. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Grace, and I look forward to seeing you again really soon. Thank you, Tony.